The process of multilayer absorption from the vapor phase into a porous medium is called capillary condensation. As shown, these pore spaces will slowly get filled with condensed liquid. Capillary condensation is unique because vapor condensation occurs below the saturation vapor pressure. However, this only happens in the confined spaces of a capillary. Because these vapor phase molecules are in a narrow capillary, there are more van der Waals interactions amongst each other, hence causing them to condense below saturation vapor pressure. Capillary condensation, due to the presence of a curved meniscus, can best be described by the Kelvin equation. This is the Kelvin equation, with all the variables shown and explained. In a capillary system, all the variables in the Kelvin equation are constant, except for PV, the equilibrium vapor pressure, and H, the mean curvature of the meniscus. Therefore, the factors affecting capillary condensation are PV and H. And this is an example of capillary condensation. Now, imagine each of these cones is a pore. As you can see, when equilibrium vapor pressure increases from P1 to P4, more capillary condensation occurs. This will happen until equilibrium vapor pressure is maximum at P4. At maximum equilibrium vapor pressure, the pore is filled completely. How is capillary condensation dependent on pore geometry? Pore geometry means the shape of the pore, and this greatly affects the rate of capillary condensation. To show this dependence, we are going back to the cone diagram. As pressure increases from P1 to P4, a steady rate of capillary condensation occurs. Meanwhile, the cylindrical pores have a constant capillary radius. As the pressure increases, capillary condensation occurs more rapidly, and the pores fill up much quicker. The system then reaches the equilibrium radius of curvature, also known as the Kelvin radius. However, this is a very simple example. In reality, there are many different pore shapes. Most porous media have odd and complex pore shapes which form a network of capillaries, much like a sponge. Since pore geometry affects the shape and curvature of the equilibrium meniscus, the Kelvin equation has to be represented differently every time the meniscus changes. Okay, so how is capillary condensation dependent on curvature of the meniscus? Considering that PV and H are the only changing variables in the Kelvin equation, when equilibrium vapor pressure, PV, increases, the mean radius of curvature, H, increases as well. However, a larger radius of curvature does not mean more capillary condensation due to the effect of contact angle. To simplify our explanation, we assume the effect of contact angle to be negligible. Using this diagram, we will illustrate the radius of curvature. As you can see, the meniscus on the left has a larger radius of curvature and therefore is flatter, which corresponds to a flatter liquid vapor interface. Based on the Kelvin equation, this flatter meniscus causes a larger pressure drop between the liquid and gas phases compared to that of a more curved meniscus. Hence, more capillary condensation will occur. That's all. Thanks for watching.